But one other aspect that we do in our lab, and this is something new, is looking at anxiety and Alzheimer's disease. And this is a really exciting project that we're embarking on because um, general population is affected by anxiety or depression that's like eight percent of the general population but Alzheimer's disease patients that's 70 percent of people who have been diagnosed with Alzheimer's so one of the targets that we are looking at is to do with again a GABA A receptor uh, receptor uh, specific subtype and it's uh, an extrasynaptic subtype and we really focus on this because it changes during the disease and we hope to investigate when that change occurs and if we can pharmacologically modify that change and bring a new drug to clinic. Because at the moment, patients are prescribed a benzodiazepine or an, a selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor, which is not rationally designed because the patient gets um, anxiety or depression, they, they're going the same bog standard medication and that has its own side effects, especially a benzodiazepine. So we, and in fact, benzodiazepines can lead to dementia-like symptoms. We've shown this and others have too. So what we want to do is um, design a more selective drug focusing on the inhibitory system.